must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D, dead. I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to raise him. Okay. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. <laughs> Can't wait for Star Pants to see what I do to the weapon system. It's gonna be great, right, Musclehead? Whatever. So, uh, Drax, you feeling sucky because Quill took my side? He explicitly did not. As far as I know, we ain't turning this ship around and heading back to the Macri Arch. I'll take that as a win. Chew, chew, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> Shoo, flock off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Hope somebody may- Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. I'm sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask Worldmind for help instead. 
Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxy must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am through. These are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you... You and me? I what? I so, Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you and your Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And to me. Hey, look. I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... elite team. Some of us are super elite. You are nothing like me. I am Glavri of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give it your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. <laughs> your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. channel with less butthole content. Try to flee. 
I would love to hunt you down. Private Morning Glory's running his mouth again. Trust me. Bill's got a good to have bounty hunters after us. Keep her making a name for herself, right? Normally this would be good practice, but Captain Creepy's timing is as bad as his costume. Only one lethal lame brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's... I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, group. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, 
That's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous domeheads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. How may we assist you? We should report what Rigor is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not every. Oh, fuck you! We, we are, are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. How about future crime? Great idea! Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We should tell them about the promise. Due to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? Connected to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They. Actually, the world mind has collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look. We just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, However given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. 
officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The, the risk, risk is too great. It, it would, would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church has stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can, we can adjust, adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot, cannot be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That, that is why they fail. Ha! You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We, we do, do not, not experience emotion, emotion therefore, therefore we, we cannot, cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a Class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We, we recognize, recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotions. emotional state is not our primary concern. We did, we did not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what, who, Alan Warlock, Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great, so no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Ah, screw it. If Novacore doesn't want to help, then we're not paying their darn fine. Cancel payment. I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknarf and back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, all right? Peter, we've got movement. I'm good. They're taking off. Accepting the promise. We gotta jump, Quill. I know. This promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm good. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. 
How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Noble Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Really? How did you... Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Oh. Weird air. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking. Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh, and then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. There, let's go. Stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but. <sighs> Nikki!
Peter Quill. Peter Quill. Peter Quill. 